Although the game had mixed reception upon the release of its trailer, the Cobra Kai video game has received typically positive feedback so far, with the video game sticking to the beat-em-up roots of classics such as Double Dragon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Final Fight, and more. What's interesting to note is that the Big Three had quite a bit of say in the game's development, as evidence in how faithful the game is to the show, although in a way, the game is set in its own universe. With Cobra Kai Season 4 coming out at the end of the year, the question is now what will happen next as far as the video game franchise outside of the card fighter? This is my concept and opinion of what I think the next Cobra Kai video game should look like. Let's talk about the elephant in the room and something that is currently missing from the pre-existing game, online play. Now, I know this game was made to be more of a couch co-op game, and the multiplayer mode itself is very smooth. However, when the video game was released at the end of October 2020, this was during the pandemic, which is still ongoing. And not to mention that most people that do game jump into online multiplayer modes nowadays. I recommended this game to a lot of my friends, the only problem is that most of these friends live the minimum of one hour away, so it wouldn't be anytime soon that I would be seeing them. Online connectivity is something I would definitely jump on when the next Cobra Kai game comes out. Side note, something else that is slowly becoming more common these days is crossplay. Having people being able to play online together despite having the game on different consoles would be another huge benefit for the next installment. Another nice feature, or rather fix, would be shorter load times. Initially, the game was released for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The problem is when you finish a level and go to the dojo or pick a level from the map screen, there is a bit of a wait. Another example of this is if you go to the map screen from the dojo, and let's say you forget to upgrade and need to go back to your dojo, you have to go through another loading screen before re-entering the dojo even though you were just there. Now when the game was released on Steam earlier this year, this was addressed as the loading screens are nearly non-existent. One way that this could be addressed is if there was something in place of the loading screen while the game itself is being loaded. This has actually been done before. If you've ever played the Star Wars Episode 3 movie game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When playing through the game's story, cutscenes would play that would incorporate both movie footage and game cutscenes right before the level started, and when the cutscene finished, the level would be fully loaded and would drop you right in the middle of gameplay. Something else I would like to see is the use of music from both the movies and the TV shows. Now don't get me wrong, Leo Bierenberg and Zach Robinson, the composers of the show, did a great game soundtrack that still has that Cobra Kai feel. I just can't help but feel that there were some missed opportunities to incorporate show music such as Hallway Hellscape during the school level or Sam and Tori boss fight, Cobra and the Mongoose or Time Out during the Robbie and Miguel boss fight, and if Season 3 had been out by then, Duel of the Snakes during the Kreese boss fight. I think this would be a nice touch and would bring me to my next point. Different game modes. Now, I'm not against keeping the current Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monk style gameplay that Cobra Kai currently incorporates, but there are some sorely missed modes that should be in the next game. The first would be a movie mode. What I mean by this is playing through levels that are based on scenes out of the movies and the TV show. For example, fighting Johnny at the All Valley Tournament, participating in the Season 2 school fight, fighting against Chosen in 1985, sparring with Chosen in Okinawa, the list goes on. Also, if you are keeping the option to play either Daniel or Johnny's side of the story, this would also give us perhaps some unique levels that would explore what Johnny did between 1984 and 2018. A prime example of this movie mode and how it's worked so far are in the video games Rocky and Rocky Legends. You have your fights that play out just like the movies, so going against Apollo Creed, Clubber Lang, and Ivan Drago for example, but you get to fight other opponents and also train between those bouts in minigames. A training minigame with some appropriate music such as Like a Dance while training as either Miguel, Robbie, Sam, or Hawk would definitely also give us a break from the purely beat em up gameplay to something that would just test our knowledge on current skills and abilities. What could also be unique to movie mode is a what if scenario. For example, if Johnny beat Daniel in 1984 and we get a completely different timeline to play through. This is something that's slightly touched upon in Rocky Legends where if you beat Rocky as either Apollo, Clubber, or Drago. Even playing as some of the villains out of the Spider-Man 2002 movie video game, and I know I keep bringing up the 2000s, but this era did the movie game genre pretty well and it's a shame you don't see movie games anymore, like Chosen or Mike Barnes and get some movie mode timelines like that as well. Another mode that has seriously been voiced from people I know that play the game and that would agree is a versus mode. This would be amazing to have as we could have the ability to play as both heroes and villains and say after beating the movie mode, you get an option to use your fully upgraded character in this versus mode. Either way, a one-on-one -on -one fighting game mode is something that's definitely needed for the next game, and you could have all sorts of dream matchups to simulate. Chosen 85 vs Johnny 84, Miguel Season 2 vs Daniel 85, Season 3 Hawk vs Dutch, Julie Pierce vs Season 3 Sam, and more. Last but not least, 
What else I want to see is mentioned above, the ability to play as legacy characters whether they be good or bad guys, and have outfit options with appropriate skill sets. For example, playing as 84 Daniel, your only mega move so to speak would be the crane kick, but if you played as 85 slash Karate Kid 3 Daniel, you would have access to the drum technique in Kato, and say the Kato could boost your focus meter for example. I would be totally okay running through the game under specific requirements to unlock Mr. Miyagi as a near boss character to play through other modes with. As someone who is not normally a fan of DLC whatsoever, I would totally be okay with paying money to play as Miyagi if they went this route, or to unlock Chosen, or other outfits with specific abilities. Hopefully you guys enjoy this concept, if the big three ever look at this, call me up so we can discuss, just kidding. But I think these ideas would be fantastic to implement into the next game. I could also understand the next major game not coming out until the series is complete, and I would totally be okay with waiting for that as well. Also big props to Flux Game Studio for putting out an excellent game with fluid mechanics, the game never gets old. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What would you like to see in a Cobra Kai video game? If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, commenting, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends, as these all help my channel grow. Catch me on Twitch, Fridays 8 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time, and Wednesdays and Sundays, both days from 5 to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, if you want to directly support the channel, consider becoming a member for 99 cents and enjoy perks such as the VIP Discord, your name in the credits, behind the scene pictures, and more. Shout out to my Twitch subs, I appreciate you guys so much, and thank you for your support. Thanks for watching, stay beautiful, stay awesome, and we'll catch you around next time.